Hi, I'm Emmanuel Signer and I'm the editor for Orchestral and Chamber Music at Bärenreiter. Today I'd like to talk about one of my favourite editions, this booklet on performing practices in Brahms chamber music. Like many musicians today, I grew up playing Brahms like it has been done in the last century, but in many ways this isn't how Brahms and his contemporaries played themselves. For example, did you know that Brahms hated to define metronome markings and that he kept changing his tempos in his manuscripts? And that while playing, he often took such liberties of tempo that his colleagues find it impossible to play together? And also, did you know that hairpins often signified not just an increase or decrease of volume, but also a change in tempo? There's info on this and much more in this volume. Clive Brown writes for string players on vibrato, bowing and fingering, as well as general issues like rubato or articulation. Neil Perez de Costa writes for pianists, for example, on melodic emphasis or the use of pedals, and Kate Bennett's Wadsworth writes on cello performing practice. This booklet is the same size as our practical editions, so it'll fit perfectly into your bag together with your other music. I love that it's not at all just a, a theoretical read. Instead, it's really accessible and it provides you with lots of information that will boost your own musicality and interpretation. For me, it's made it more exciting to play Brahms and other 19th century composers. And I'm sure it'll be the same for you.